Welcome friends, this is third in the row. But this time we are not covering the cap, rather we are covering floor. Now assume that you are, you must be sitting on some chair. So you are having a floor on which you have a chair and you are having a roof which is a cap. Now treat this, uh, this particular floor on which the chair is lying as an interest rate floor. This is a very interesting concept and before moving let me give you a small background of that. Here we have taken again my favorite banks which is the buyer is the National Bank of Australia which is NAB and the seller is CBA, Commonwealth Bank of Australia who always do you know Commonwealth Bank of Australia, CBA. Now National Bank of Australia is having a pool. What is this pool? This is a adjustable mortgage bank security pool and the size of the pool is 5 billion dollar. I repeat, adjustable mortgage bank security pool, the size of the pool is 5 billion dollar. If you carefully look, you would get to know that this pool and this notional is same. In that illustration, we have kept this same, but there is no guarantee. It might be possible that actually, National Bank of Australia would have a pool of 50 billion and they would have uh, taken notional of 5 billion. It, they could have different reasons like uh, of with CB Australia they wanted to do only 5 billion maybe the other tranches of 45 billion they wanted to do, do with the different banks which is uh, uh, DBS Singapore which is Chase which is Goldman which is Credit Suisse and, 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 and different banks right so here we for illustration purpose we kept it that adjustable mortgage bank security pool of 5 billion dollar has kept same index is as usual we kept as 3 month LIBO we really not don't want to, to make it complicated by adding the ICAP adjustment that we don't want to make it. Maturity is 3 years, total strikes is 12, 12 you understand, 12 means uh, 4 into 3 which is 12. Option premium is 0.8, sorry my apologies, this is 0.8% which is uh, stands at 40 million dollar, carrying a calculator which is 40 million dollars and basis count convention is actual by 360 because we are talking about US market. We are talking about US market, right? Now in this, before going about that, this is the scene. This is NAB, Sydney, who is having a pool, adjustable mortgage backed security, the total pool size is 5 billion dollars and that pool size is linked with income of that pool size is linked with floating securities. Now that floating securities is linked with LIBOR. Now since they link with LIBOR so of course their income would fluctuate and you know that the one of the reasons behind 2009 uh, sorry my mistake 2008 financial crisis was a huge amount of asset was linked with LIBOR and it was not that asset the multiple collectorization linked with that LIBOR collectorization over collectorization linked with that LIBOR and when the tranches turned delin delinquent then everything was vanished Henceforth in this illustration we are keeping it same. It might be possible that for a practical purpose NAB could have done this uh, assuming the pool is of 5 billion dollars they could have done this for 50 billion dollars. This is might quite possible and this is something which is happening also. Henceforth if you look at the daily foreign exchange market size is 5 billion. The interest rate size is 100, 100 uh, sorry 5 trillion. Interest rate is 100 trillion and LIBOR based security size is 1750 trillion which is 350 times than that, than that which is not a small amount believe me. Now they wanted to make sure that the income which they are getting it should be static. It should be static. It should not be like this you know like this which is volatile. Now what should they do? In this case, NAB would be buying up a floor and here if you look carefully, the formula is a little different because things are changing. In this, the cap which the floor strike which they are keeping is 3.5%. And of course, don't forget, this is linked with the same principle of moneyness which is in the money, at the money and out of the money. Don't forget that. 
the more you go the more you would be in the money and the more this premium would go up the less you go you would be turning out to be at the money or out of the money could be deep out of the money the premium will less but generally what i have saw in my in the in the markets that people are always looking for slightly at the money little bit around at the money they are not looking at the money the little bit around at the money of course this is an option and we have to do via cut we know that there is a cut which is known as new york cut right now this new york cut assuming this new york cut ny cut published at uh, let us take one take published at 3.8% had it been be cap i repeat had it been be cap and if we would have got 3.9 minus 3.5 but this is not cap if the interest rate if the new york cut is at 3.8% or so the 3 month libor is at is is at 3.8% uh, it is good they getting a good income but for that they already sh or already shell out which is their premium right but assuming this cut is 2.5% now they have a floor of 3.5% now they are going to get it please look at the formula strike minus index in the cap it was different index minus strike now they are going to get 3.5% minus 2.5% into notional which is 5 billion and assuming a quarterly difference of 91 days 91 oblique 360 days which is 5000 into 91 360 you know into 0.01 which roughly 12.6 let us do again so that no mistake should happen which is 12.63 which is 12.63 million dollars of payment is to be happened by commonwealth bank of australia sydney to national bank of australia sydney what is the benefit they would be able to secure their income they would be able to keep their income static had they not had they not bought that they would be in a mess seriously in a mess so we told you all three things we told you how to create uh, floors we told you how to create cap we told you how to create participatory cap in the next two videos we would be we would be telling you how to create participatory floor and then we would be telling you something very beautiful which is close to my heart which is how to create participatory swaps which is very difficult to explain and this would be the lengthiest video here we will tell you how to create a participatory swap so before winding up this video we would like you to tell you again the same thing that interest rate swap market is a very big market it is a highly unfortunate that this country always treat interest rate swap as taken at granted but this is not the scene if every day foreign exchange is getting traded 5 trillion dollar and interest rate in taxes are getting traded 100 trillion dollar then this is not taken it granted or this is not a a kind of a coincidence because the total amount of instruments which are available in the interest rate are very high but this is not the scene we have here in india all the three things which you read which is interest rate uh, caps interest rate floors and participatory cap all three are not possible in india and i don't know If you don't trust, then you just uh, open uh, in in the bank risk management circular, and you will get it that all three are not here. In fact, the upcoming two videos, which is participatory floor and participatory swap, would also not be there. If you have any requirement pertaining to any consulting in the treasury function, you have our email, web our web address, which is www.treasuryconsulting.in. you have our mobile which is 9899242978 
My Skype ID is Rahul5327 and you have my email ID is rahul.magan at the rate tragedyconsulting.in. We are also launching our dedicated presentation could be maximum by 31st of March which would be covering all financial products which we are consulting and which would be the best presentation in the treasury function that I will assure you. A pick and a sound based presentation. That is our assurance. With this, we thank you very much and have a wonderful day ahead.